makes sense to me right there. That's but fair. we're going to go to the next one. We just saw both of these players. Another Nama pair of Kaze DJs. Sien is going to be the DJ Mirror. And I like, I, look, I'm going to tell you right now, especially in six, because I, I still feel like we're pretty early in the lifespan. I like to see these guys go edit, especially on the Mirror match, because it tells me what they're looking for, what kind of DJ player we're going to get from both of these two. And I love to see their knowledge, how they deal with the DJ in the Mirror. So coming in fresh off his win, I feel like Sien had a very, very ecstatic time being able to play the offense and run the offense like he had planned to, right? Being able to talk to him. He always gets nervous at these big events. I mean, that just shows like the human side of him. But we've seen like the God moments of Sien as well, being able to showcase what he did in the previous game. He's looking to carry it over, but Namikaze is still looking for that big dub as well, being able to flexercise that EJ. All right, here we go. DJ versus DJ. That's a huge commitment, brother. That's a good call out against the fireball. Big jump in against Sien right off the bat. Ooh. Nice jabs just to start off. And like, I like them using the sway to get out of each other's range. Not letting any tool go to waste. Staying medium kick right there. Gotcha. No, you can't punish it like that. At least I feel like from that low, it's tough. Which is interesting because I thought he was going to be able to. I feel like crouching heavy punch has a really significant amount of startup to it too. So that makes sense. What a punish counter still within range. Who's done whose lab work here? I right, like. I was about to say, but this is what I was talking about with Sien. Sien does a lot of lab work, but on the same note, it just means Namikaze Ooh. definitely has a lot of detail that was very on keen the player. Awareness. Speaking of the details on the player, Namikaze. Namikaze. Game number one, excuse Not me, fast, round number one. Not the throw bait as well. I feel like a lot of players do that in the current meta where they will whiff a throw right in front of you to try to bait out your reactions and punish accordingly. But Namikaze, he was already committed to that crouching jab. Really, really well done. Back into this corner again. Wasn't phased the last time he was here, but Sien now looking at a different approach. A little bit of a drop. He did have a crouching, or sorry, standing medium punch that hit initially. The back dash, what a read. Plus two. And what still, is this going to hit jab Sien. anyway? You can't stop me. Oh, that should be. Who do you think you are? I am. That's exactly what he said. Level one. Boom. And what a rebuttal from Sien right there. Man. Pete Weaver, a DJ is crazy. Two bars between them. Namikaze working on the third. No choice of anti air. Nabakazi a little bit weary on the approach now, but the drive rush forward, a little bit of a mishap because Sien is now on the other side, getting that offense going. As we talked about, Sobot, safe jump. What are you going to do about this, Nami? In this corner right now. Jump out, a brave jump out of that. Oh, Sien dude. trying to slow it down. Jackknife to stop the pressure. Namikaze not giving up the ground either. Just slowly walking Sien to the corner. Oh, yeah, to he was charged. And he's ready for the jump. Speaking of drive rushes, Namikaze is looking for a little bit of reaction off of that sway. Sien's not giving it to him. Not a single bite, and he jumped nothing. But now it's Sien, he's trying to find his way out of the corner. He's done so successfully. Level three is incoming. You already know what it is. It's time for the massage. Bang! Uh, I love how slow that was starting to get. I like how Namikaze was approaching the matchup, even though it is that mirror, even though you still have to worry about the same things. And just checking Sin at every turn. He's like, yo, I know you want to stay right there. Stand medium kick. I know you're trying to move around, dash rush in on me. Jackknife maximum overdrive. You're going to have to deal with it. So I really like seeing how he's been fighting Sin so far. There were a couple of moments where, man, these reads and the reactions against the fireball, phenomenal. The Namikaze off to a very, very similar start he had in game one. Very first round of that. Oh, he already knew. What? Saw that a mile away. Sick. Sweep anti air into the jackknife. Ooh. I told you, he is not letting Sin get his offense started at all. Right. Whether that comes from a knockdown and continuing oh. the pressure, it's both. Man. On that, also in the drive rush. This guy just jabs anyway. They both have been doing that to each other, to be fair. He's got some nuts. Oh, oh out. no, he clipped up on the sway. It's fine. Namikaze still maintained his charge for the anti air. Jack got to come the space. Oh, you, uh, was that a knee shot? Bro, both of them miss. Sien wins the scramble, though. He got one bar on his side. Namikaze has to be careful. There's two on his side. So you got to be careful with the projectiles if you're Sien. Air slasher just to teach him. Oh. Too far for any sort of commitment, I feel like. Other than, other than the fireball, right? Now, Mikazi, are you going to move forward? Are you going to keep building this meter? Or at least build up your drive gauge? No, he goes for the OD. And I like the fireball ward now engaging for Perfect. full screen. Perfect, the OD Damn. jackknife. Oh, the no. Sway. And he's burnt out. Sien is in danger. Now, Mikazi, just a little bit. I like the throw just to throw off his timing. And Ooh. he gets some, clips him on the tail end. Now, Mikazi controlling the pace. 
Yeah, you see, coming in with a fake out this time, Shen. He's looking for the jump, a very critical error, very unorthodox from Shen. And the oh. bait out, Nabakazi moving back just a little bit after that plus two scenario. Level three to let it rip. Look at the damage once more. Namakazi sitting on not only the life lead, but the drive gauge advantage is so severe against him. Caught him reaching. Oh, now no. I'm teaching like an and one mixtape. Hold on. Bounce with the bone collector in a minute. Breaks some ankles. Oh, oh he went sway. straight for the ankles. Oh, level three. Level three, let me get in there. Hey. Ugh, give him the massage. Nice suit, bucko. Get beat up, though. Yo, that took off mad damage. 50% perhaps. Oh. Yo, Namakaze. Namakaze in trouble. The DI gets him through. Namakaze ties up the set 1-1. You know, that was actually the smartest thing you can do. There's nothing that Shen could possibly counter it with if he's in burnout. One, even if he had meter, he couldn't do drive impact. He would have to properly time the parry to yes. stop that drive impact. That was the only choice. Or jump. Or jump, but who expects that? But you're not gonna jump. He's who been really hitting them with that? the jackknife the whole time, bro. He's yep, even on exactly dash rush in, he's not gonna jump. Exactly why. Ain't no way you're jumping, yeah. you're jumping Who into gets the jab? Jab Ooh, on again. Jumped tight. That was a counter hit. Speaking of counter hits, Sien seeking in his own jabs. What a bad guess. These guys are swinging, they ladies are and gentlemen. Swinging. These guys are going nuts. Even the sailors can't believe it, bro. Look at him back there. What the? Somebody Guile. get Guile over Even here, Guile's bro. Even in the back. He's like, I had to get out of my jet. He's like, hold up. They doing what? Let me go. Dude, the other guy's so inspired. He's doing push-ups. <laughs> the jump back. Dash rush in once again. Even with all the dash rushes, Chris you Redfield, still see. You still see the him. fact that they're conserving their meter and they're doing great meter management so far. Again in the favor of Namikaze in terms of the life lead. Ooh. Great anti-air. Gets the feint on top of it. Jumps back, does not want to engage. Has seen what Namikaze can do on an exchange and just plays the full screen game, gets back a little bit of drive with the parry. Letting it settle in a little bit, Sien is looking to play that fireball Back game throw. as well. Back Punish throw, punish counter. Drive up, forward throw again. Do it one more time, dance. bam, that's it. Match point now for Sien, but looking at the meter, it's two and two apiece. Both pretty close to a level three. I think Sien uh, a little bit closer to that in comparison. Forward throw to start things off, drive rush forward. Very meaty wow. sweep. Very, very meaty sweep, and that's totally cool, man. On top of having it on drive rush. Oh. Okay. Not gonna spend it. Not gonna spend it early. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. It's hard though because look at the drive gauge yeah. that Namakazi has. You don't want to put yourself in that situation, especially when Xian had that much drive left. Not yeah. ready for the jump in. Xian drive rush in. Reaching right now. So by one hit. Air slasher. Takes Terrible a couple time. in the exchange. Ooh. Anti air. Yeah, it wasn't really high enough to get a continuation, Ooh. but that's fine. Stand on medium. His counter. Perfect parry. Not perfect, but just a perfect timing for a parry. No way! Huh? That's so oh my good. God! A so reversal. The science. Bam! Spring kicks, and this is so important. Look at that. Looking, Looking kind of dry, burnout. DJ. You still got one bar, and the hit's gonna do it. Sien, the scientist, two one over Namakaze, and man, were they slugging it out. Man, Namakaze though, this is what I was talking about. Having a player like Sin with there's so much stuff out there that he personally puts out there for you to see. You know he brings a lot to the table, but that also gives you a lot of work with. Namakaze putting up quite the fight Bro. right there in this group B, but His adaptation Sien. was nuts, dude. Like his pace on offense and also his decision making on defense, very much so like up to par with every single competitor, if not better, because Again, it's no easy feat to face off against a character that I feel like, in my personal opinion, invented the play style. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I think, you know, Sien was the first one to really put DJ on the map, and then I feel like Fudo was the one that perfected it, perhaps. But at the same time, Namikaze facing off against Sien in the way that his decision making overall, I loved it. I loved every single bit of it. It's the fourth throw, and, and literally just keeping you that see what I'm saying? the entire time. Defense, and just checking. So good. And checking, and a lot of times after these Sobot hits from both of the players, right? Whether it be jab, whether it be like medium kick, or sometimes just going for throwing some of these instances, or just continuing the chase with Sobot. Like you saw it coming from both ends. Nice staggered offense right here. Straight into the level three. Yeah, that's exactly what we can expect. But any moment where Namikaze was forced to play the fireball game. I think his fireball game was a little bit stronger than Sien's, right? His feints were at the right place. 
of choosing between like the medium or the heavy slasher, right? That's actually pretty important. But also being able to spend or willing to spend like the OD version of it and also the decision making. You talk about his defense, I feel like it's it's so it's so up there. But. No, it's definitely true. If you talk about the decision making between both of these players, right? They were really fighting the mirror match. Like in certain That's situations hard to call. where you're plus, you literally like, okay, are they gonna throw me? Are they gonna continue to pressure? Are they gonna hit the jab? The wake up level two from Sien when he just re like that fireball was through his body already. That's what was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And look at this. That, that hitting also out. was kind of mm. tough.